What's going on everyone and welcome back to Minion Simulator where today I'm going to share with you guys my entire journey the whole week. I've been doing nothing but training game passes for the entire week in order to find which game pass has the highest demand, which one just doesn't sell at all, and how much do they sell for, how much do they actually sell for, and not just a list of just exaggerated values. And so when I went on Discord, I started to notice that a lot of people are offering the game passes for way too much, like suddenly it's so expensive. When we sold it for 12 million or 11 million, someone is selling it for 15 million. And then Ultra Lucky 50 million and St. Chess 35. And just take a look at how much people are selling the 16 equip for, which was actually reasonable even now, even today. And so this was the start of my journey. And what I did is buy a lot of passes and try to sell them based on market value. And to find out what market value is, you need to find out the basic value of all the game passes, not including the crazy demand right now. You just need to know the basic game passes. And in order to find that, you have to find exactly how much the lowest game passes in the game costs. For example, here's what I did. Skip chest, more storage. Both of these are considered, let's say, rounded off as 100 Robux. Both of these are worth 3.5 million gold. If they're worth 3.5 million gold, that means that the 16 equip, if you take 3.5 times 22, you'll get 77, which is 77 million. That's the current value of 16 equip based on those game passes, 3.5 million each. Now for insane chests, 3.5 times 13, because 1,300 Robux, so it's 13 in this case, is 45.5 million gold that is not my values that is current market values for me personally i don't want to give in to inflation but i also don't want to undervalue a lot of game passes because that will anger a lot of people it will have a negative effect on the market especially for a game that's very unstable right now especially the economy the economy is extremely unstable so i had to have these game passes based on market value and let's see what happens i wasn't here for too long not even like three minutes into it Someone already bought insane chests, 45 million gold, at a time where you can sell this very easily for 50 or 60 million, even now, four days later. Maybe that's the case. Octuple chest, 65 million gold, sold as well. Octuple chest, currently, right now in the market, you can sell it between 55, maybe 60 million, but at this time, 65 was a great deal for them. Especially triple chest, it used to be sold for 30 million. The person wanted to buy this and they didn't have enough money, so they bought a lot of stuff. So, who might say no to that? I sold that easily. And I may have forgotten to mention to you guys, but I looked like this throughout my entire journey because there's no way I'm using my own account to trade in a trading plaza. It will not work well. People will be like, please, bro, free game pass, come on! And I can't do that, so it had to be this dude. And this dude got destroyed on the second day. This is the second day I've been called names, I've been called a scammer, a ripoff, you name it. You just think of something that you can actually say in the Roblox filter and someone did call me that. And I don't mind being called a scammer because they got so used to the 16 equipped being something between like between 35, 38 million and then suddenly it's all of a sudden 80 million, 77 million. Yeah, I would be upset too. But the thing is, you can't change the values whenever you feel like it. See, this is the problem with the value list. The value list, with all due respect to the people running this, if you go and you check out the value list section on Discord, a lot of people complain about the value list, but it's mainly to do with huges. They feel like some people play with the prices of the huges because if one person overpays for a huge and a second person overpays for the same huge, then that means it's finalized. That is the actual price of the huge. And people feel that it's not that way, it doesn't work that way. You don't just increase and inflate the prices of huges whenever one or two people just suddenly decided to overpay. I agree with that, but that's not my field. My field is this, I've sold so many game passes, I've seen the sales from other sellers, and I know how much it's sold in the market, and they go for a lot, a lot guys. Take a look at this, this is Chase. This is Chase's current price list. Look at Mythic Hero, 70 million. Insane Chest, 50 million. 16 equipped, 80 million. A tuple open, 75 million. Why are these prices the way it is? Because Skip is 4.5 million, and then the, the more storage as well is 4.5. 
That is why the prices are this high. The demand for them are so high you can't even imagine. Now I'm not having a go at the value list owner or the team behind it, but this value list doesn't make sense. There is so much demand for game passes in the market and no one to supply them. That's why Chase's prices are the way they are, because there's so much demand in the market and it's all over the place. If he sold it for any cheaper, it won't make a difference. People will buy them and resell them for more. That's the thing, you can't have these prices that just don't make any sense. That's my opinion. And we are extremely lucky that not everyone is gonna follow this value list, but if they do, if people take this value list seriously, then Mythic Hero, Insane Chest, and Ultra Lucky, you can kiss them goodbye. You're not gonna see them in the market, they're gonna be scarce, and everyone's gonna be willing to pay even more than Octopo, than 16 equip that's written on here for them. That's the thing, you can't make up values as you go. You can't reduce the prices because you feel like it. You have to stick to the values in the market. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So let's move on. Now this person was looking for a 16 equip and they were trying to get it for 2 days and they offered 70 million. However, I told them that I'm not going to sell it to you for 70 million, I'm going to sell it for you for 66. And they actually asked me if I had even more. That's the thing, if you tell someone that you have it even for 70, they will ask for more. But right now let's focus on the ultra lucky which to me ideally I would love to sell it for 80 for 28 million sorry but right now I have to sell it for 30 million because I want to stick to my values the values that I said 3 million for more storage and 3 million for skip chest look at this skip chest 3.5 I bet you anything someone will buy it eventually someone will buy this this is another person I always see selling the same exact game passes I'm not sure if they're selling or not I doubt it to be honest with you for those prices especially right now I highly doubt that someone would buy it for that. Now this game pass I should be selling it for 10.5 but because of inflation I don't want to sell it any less because people are going to buy it only to take advantage of other people and I'm doing no favors and it's going to just be like the mythic hero video that I had the other day where I bought like 30 of them and sold them for dirt cheap and people who bought them sold it for like 20 million profit so I don't want to do that. By the time I reached day number 4, I was tired. I was just fed up. That was it. I didn't want to touch game passes anymore. But by now I know that people are just not buying the game passes based on what the value list says and based on what Discord used to say. So what I did was the remaining game passes that I had, most importantly was the 16 equip and the mythic hero and one of the 8 equips I gave it to a seller to sell on Discord. They sold it immediately and the person wants to buy two. We didn't have two, but they wanted to buy two of them. That's how difficult it is to find 16 equipped. Well, that has been an interesting journey. It has been four days of me doing that. And what I wanted out of this is to see the actual values in the market. I want to see what people are willing to spend in order to buy those game passes. And I didn't go too high and I also didn't go too low. Now if you guys remember Chase, because who doesn't? Chase is the biggest seller of game passes ever. Chase used to sell them for so cheap. 16 equip used to be sold for 35 million. And then he took a long break, came back and sold these game passes based on the current market today. And these prices maybe sometimes might scare you, but they're actually very fair. It's because of the market. It is because if he sells it any lower, people will buy it and resell it for more. So it's like he didn't do anything. Prices will not go down until maybe after the leaderboard run is over with and maybe when the demand isn't as high. Once you see more sellers sell these game passes, that's when the prices will suddenly reduce, but not by a lot. Now what you see in front of you isn't a value list. However, think of it as a price guide. If you want to buy any of these game passes, you should either pay the lowest amount here and if you get for any lower then that's good for you that's a win however if you're gonna pay any higher don't go anywhere above these numbers that's my own opinion and the reason why I say that is that's the this is the exact list I give to the seller to sell any game passes from me and that's how much they sell for whatever profit they make though they keep if you're watching this and you have limited robux and you want to just buy a few game passes and just make a lot of gold, I recommend that you buy the VIP Game Pass, maybe sell it between 14 million, 16 million, and also, more importantly, is Super Storage. I think Super Storage, because it's been extremely hyped up, maybe the prices will go back down. I used to sell them for 12 million, 
Now people are even wanting it for 50 million. Now the game passes that you see, especially the ones that I bought a lot of, the only reason why I did that is because the Super Storage, Triple Chest, the Ultra Lucky, the VIP and the Octuple, I know that they're like fast selling. They don't even stay in my inventory. Those get sold immediately. What I was surprised about is no one bought the Skip Chest. More Storage was really difficult to sell. I'm left with one. Mythic Hero, they were easily sold for 50 million, both of them. However, the 16 equip, no one bought them except when I went to Discord and offered them. If I did have 2200 Robux in front of me, I would not buy 16 equip anymore. From what I'm seeing on Discord, people are selling the VIP Game Pass even for 40 million. That's 40 million. For the VIP, people just, they're just getting desperate. I can't do that to someone. I can't even sell it for 20 million. If the market value, like everyone else sells it for 20, I will. But for me right now, I, if I had the choice, I would sell it for maybe 14 or 15 million, up to 16 and that's it. Lucky Game Passes, no one wanted it, like for 13 million and then for one point it was like 12 million. No one touched it, no one, absolutely no one wanted it. But Super Storage, I actually bought a lot of them and I didn't sell all of them, by that time I just got fed up. So what I want to do is, as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm going to be giving away three of these Super Storage Game Passes. All you have to do is comment down in the comments down below with your Roblox username, like this video, be a subscriber, and that's all you have to do. Good luck to all of you, and the winners will be announced on the next Minion Sim video. That's that, and I hope that you guys enjoyed everything that you've seen. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all on the next one.